thousand. Now let's try to answer this problem, CVP of two products. Mauresmo Company developed the following information for the year and the December 31, 2017. So we have for product A and product B in total. If the sales mix changes to 5,000 units for product A and 5,000 units for product B, determine the original break-even point and the new break-even point. So how do we compute for the break-even point of this uh of this company we have the cm of product one multiplied by the uh the the items or the units in mix then we have we will add cm of product two multiplied by units in mix then we will divide that all over to the total items in mix. So in here, what is the contribution margin per unit of product A? That is 6,000 divided by, that is 6,000 divided by 4,000 units. 6,000 divided by 4,000 units. We have 1.5 multiplied by, that is 4,000. Then we have plus, what is the contribution margin of product B? That is 12,000 divided by 27,000. We have 0.44. So we just... Actually, we just continue, we just use that continually times 0.6. Actually, that is times 0.6 plus 1.5 times 4,000. That ladder 1.5 times 0.4. Okay, so that is 0.4444. So that is 12 divided by 12 rather That is 12,000 divided by 6,000 units So I mean that is 2 So our contribution margin for the second item is 2 Actually So multiplied by 6,000 all over 10,000 units. So our contribution margin weighted, uh, our, our weighted average contribution margin, actually this, this is first weighted average contribution margin. So our weighted average contribution margin would be 1.5 times 4,000. That is 6,000 plus 2 times 6,000. Actually, that is 12,000 all over 10,000. We get that is 6,000 plus 12,000 divided by 10,000 plus 12,000 divided by 10,000 we get a contribution margin weighted average contribution margin of 1.8 now to compute for the break even point in units we have our Mm, fixed cost multiplied by divided by rather weighted average contribution margin in units so we have there the fixed cost of 12,600 divided by 1.80 we have 12,600 divided by 1.8 we have 7,000 units 
for our break-even point in units. What if so? How many? How much would be? How much would be pertaining to product A and product B here? We need. We can determine that with their uh, with their mix ratio. In here, how would you determine that for product A? We have 4,000 over 10,000. While in product B, we have 6,000 over 10,000. So product A is 40% of the mix, while product B is 60% of the mix. So on the 7,000 units, how much would be product A? That is 7,000 times 0. 0.4. We have 2,800. And for product B, we have 7,000 times 0. 0.6 we have 4,200 of product B. Now, if we want to know the break-even point in sales pesos, how do we compute for that? We need to have the, uh, the fixed cost divided by weighted average contribution margin ratio. How do we compute for the weighted average contribution margin ratio? We actually have uh, the... Uh, the contribution margin ratio multiplied by the uh, multiplied by the the mix in pesos. So how do we do that? What is the contribution margin ratio of product A? That is six thousand divided by twelve thousand. Then we will multiply that by its mix, which is twelve thousand over. 39,000 that is mixed in the sales value plus we have for product B that is 12,000 divided by 27,000 multiplied by 27,000 over 39,000 so that is your weighted average contribution margin ratio so actually we would have to cancel this one 6000 divided by 39000 then we will add 12000 divided by 39000 so our contribution margin ratio is actually 0.461538 so it's a bit uh it's not actually a perfect uh it's not a perfect ratio but then again to get the uh to get the to get the break even sales in pesos we use this uh, ratio, so we have 12,600 of so break even point pesos. We have the fixed cost over the weighted average contribution margin ratio. We have the fixed cost of 12,600 divided by. the amount that we have computed 0 0.461538 and the answer would be actually i've used a continuous computation here 27300 so in this 27300 how much would be for product a and for product b so to determine that there mix ratio would be for product A that is 12 over 39 and for product B that is 27 over 39 so 27,300 27,300 multiplied by 12 over 39 that is 8,400 while for product B, 27,300 multiplied by 27 over 39, 
that is 18,900. So if you add them together, that is actually 27,300. And just to verify this uh, share in here, we can how much is the sales per sales price per unit of product A? For product A, we have, and for product B, that is 12,000 divided by 4,000, that is 3. Well, for product B, that is 27,000 divided by 6,000, that is 4.5. So, if we convert these units into sales pesos, that is 2,800 multiplied by 3, actually, this 2,800 when translated into peso would be 8,400. It's times 3. And 4,200 times 4.5 times 4.5, we have 18,900 in pesos. So actually, that supports the amount that we have computed right here on the break-even point in sales pesos. Now, we need to compute for the new BEP given that the, the new mix would be 5,000 for A and 5,000 for B. So, to get that, we will still use the, the ratio, the weighted average contribution margin computation here. So, this one. But instead of the 4,000 and 6,000, we will just have, we will have 5,000 and 5,000. So that is 1.5. We can just actually multiply this by 5,000 over 10,000 plus 2 for product B multiplied by 5,000 over 10,000. So... 1.5 actually times 0.5, we have 0.75 plus 2 times 0.5, we have 1. So our new weighted average contribution margin is 1.75. What have you noted? So from 1.8, from 1.8, the contribution margin decreased to 1.75 but the quantity sold did not change what what does that mean if the mix changes and the product with the lower contribution margin increased its share in the mix that would equate to lowering the contribution margin what would be the impact of lowering the contribution margin in this question so let's compute for the break-even point in units that is 12,600 divided by 1.75 so our break-even point in units is 7,200 what was the effect from from 7,000 the break-even point is now 7,200. It means when the sales mix changes, the break-even point would also change. In this case, uh, we need to sell more units. But what is the composition of it, of this? Product A and product B. So actually, that is just 7,200 times 0. 0.5. We have 3,600 of product A and 3,600 of product B. So in this mix, they have equal share in the, in the break-even point. Still, the break-even point resulted to an increase. 